Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize your Divi slider to change specific elements with each slide. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so I'm in my admin dashboard. So in order for us to achieve this design, we need to be using Divi. So make sure you have Divi installed. All right, so let's start by adding a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Give your page a title. So I'm just going to call mine, customize your Divi slider. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on use Divi Builder. Right, so the option we need here is build from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then I'm just going to close this for now. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add a full width slider. So let's come over here and add a new section. Click this plus button, select full width, and then choose full width slider. So I'm going to click on it. So in order for us to see the changes in our slider, we need to add a background color to our section. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save here. And then I'm gonna go into my section settings, click on background, and I'm just gonna add this color here temporarily. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. So next, I'm just gonna delete this top section here. Next, we're gonna come over here to our, our slider settings. I'm gonna click here. So I'm gonna delete this first one here and then go into the slider settings. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to update the text on our slider. So I'm just going to come over here to my content area and paste this text. Now this text has some HTML in it. So if you want to use the exact same text as I'm using here, you can go to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. For the button text, instead of saying click here, we're going to add the text, which says get started. And we're also going to change the heading here. So I'm going to replace that with websites that give you more. Now for the background color, I'm going to come over here and add full transparency. So I'm going to click here, choose white, and then drag the slider all the way down. And now you'll notice that that dark gray color that we added to the section is now showing through because we've made this slide transparent. So let's save our settings. So over here, our next slides are going to pretty much have the similar design. So I'm just going to duplicate this twice. So in total, we're going to have three slides. So just to make these sliders different, I'm just going to come over here to the second one, click this gear icon. And the only thing we're going to do here is to come to the text. And then I'm going to replace this word business with money. So I'm going to come over here, highlight it. Right. So this one here is going to have money. Save that. With the final one here, we're going to change the word here, business to success. So I'm going to paste it and then we're going to save. Right, so we've added all our content for our sliders. The next thing we're going to do now is to disable the slider. So I'm going to come over here to advanced. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want our slider to just go all over the place while we're trying to cl uh, click on our slides. So we're going to come here over here to custom CSS, and then we're going to come to slide description and paste the CSS code. Now, if you want this CSS code or you want to add this feature, I'm going to add the link to this post in the show notes below. This is going to have all the colors and also all the um, CSS and HTML that we're going to use throughout this tutorial. Next, we're gonna come over here to our design tab and uh, click animation. So over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set automatic animation on, and then we're gonna set the speed to 3000. So notice what happens here. So the animation is now playing and our words are now just changing as we take a look at the slider. So this is what this automatic animation does. And uh, this speed in milliseconds is the amount of seconds that it takes for this to change. So this right now is three seconds. So if you want to increase the time uh, each animation happens, you just come in here and um, just adjust that. But for now, we're going to leave it at 3000. Now let's design our slider. So we're going to come all the way back here to the top, click on text. So right now our text orientation is set to the center. So we're going to set it to the left. Next, we're going to work on the title font. So I'm just going to come over here and hover over this um, title text, click on this brush tool, and that'll take me directly to my settings. And over here, we're going to change the font from default to Lato. So I'm going to search for it and then select my font. Next, we're going to change our font weight to light and our text size. We're going to set this to 32. And then we're going to come over here to our title text shadow. We're going to choose this option here. And then for our blur strength, we're going to set this to zero. Now let's move on to our body text. So we're going to come over here again. We're going to click this paintbrush tool. And then this is going to take us straight to our body font. 
So the first thing we're gonna do here is to change our font to Lato as we did with the uh, main heading. Next, we're gonna come over here to the body text size. We're gonna set this to 5VW. And we, while we're here, we might as well set our sizes for our mobile devices. So I'm gonna click here on this little icon, click on tablet. And for the tablet, we're gonna set this to 50 pixels. And then for this phone, we're gonna set this to 40 pixels. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to the tablet view. For the line height, we're gonna set this to 1.6. Now you can see we have enough space between the title and also this text. Now it's time to work on the button. So again, I'm gonna come over here on the paintbrush tool, select that. And for us to be able to make customizations to our button, we need to activate use custom styles for button. So I'm gonna select yes to that. So let's start with our button text size. So we're gonna, uh, by default, it's set to 20. So we're gonna set this to 16 and then we're gonna come over here and add our background color. So I'm gonna paste my color in here. If you wanna use the same color, again, I'll leave the color in the comments box below. Next for our border width, we're gonna set this to eight. And we're also going to set our color to the same color that we've just used. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color. And then over here for the border radius, by default, it's set to three. So I'm just gonna set this to zero so that now we have a full rectangle without the rounded corners. And for our button letter spacing, we're gonna set this to one. And for our font, we want our font to be the same as the one we've been using for our heading and our body text. So we're gonna come over here on default, set it to Lato. And now you wanna scroll all the way down here. And then for our button alignment, let's align this to the right. Next, we need to set our width because our button here is way all the way to the right. So we can adjust that by coming over here to sizing and setting our width. So our width here uh, is best at 70%. So I'm just gonna type in 70% here. And then while we're here, we might as well set our tablet and our smartphone. So I'm gonna click here on this little icon. On the tablet, it's fine at 100%. And also on the, on the smartphone, it's fine at 100%. Now let's head over to spacing and add our custom padding. So for the top, we're gonna to add 19 VW, eight VW for the bottom. Now let's add our settings for our tablet. So I'm gonna click here on this little icon, select tablet. And this time for the bottom, we're gonna add four VW. And then for the left and right, we're gonna add zeros. And then finally for the smartphone, for the top, we're gonna to add 30 VW, four VW for the bottom, and then zero for the left and the right. So that's all we need to do. I'm gonna come back over here to my desktop. So next, what we need to do is just come back over here on sizing and make sure that our module alignment is set to centered. Right, now it's time to add our box shadow. So we're gonna come over here and uh, the shadow we're gonna choose is this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Right, so let's start with our horizontal position. So right now it's set at 10 pixels. We're gonna set it to minus 190 pixels. And now you can see that we have this shadow all the way here. For our vertical position, we're gonna set this to 60. And then we're gonna scroll down here and add our shadow color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my values between the brackets. Right, so the next stage is to disable these arrows here on the side. So to do that, we're gonna come over here to content and then we're gonna to come to elements. And as you can see here, show arrows is set to yes. So we can click on no and also no to show controls. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we have an automatic slider. So this cha these changes here will be happening without the need to click here on the sides. So pretty much our slider settings are done. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. The rest of the designs now are going to be done on the section itself. So let's click on section settings. So let's start by coming over here to the back. Okay, so we're gonna add our image. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. Select my image. Now, in your case, if you don't have the image in your media library, you'd have to navigate to the image from your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead now and click on upload an image. Now it's time to add our gradient background. So I'm gonna come over here to the second tab, click this plus button and add our first color. So our first color here is going to be an RGBA color, which means it has a bit of transparency. So to add our color, you need to drag the slider down a little bit and then paste the values between the brackets, just like that. Let's move on to our next color here. Again, it's gonna have some transparency, so I'm gonna drag the slider down and paste my values between the brackets. And then over here for our start position, we're gonna set this to 34%, and our end position here is going to be zero. Now, right now, we can't see any changes to our slider here. That's because place 
gradient above the image is not selected. So let's go ahead and select that. So now we can see that our gradient is now above the image. Next, we're going to give our section a right border. So we're going to come over here to design border. We're going to select our right border here. And the width is going to be 5VW. Next, let's give us a color. So I'm going to come over here to this eyedropper tool and paste our color in here, just like that. So pretty much our design is complete. So let's go ahead and save this. And then we're going to save the actual page and do a quick preview. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.